Um, I want also to make a couple of things perfectly clear about the last video. The fact that I uh, questioned all this sort of thing and then showed my dick on, vi on webcam, I don't want you to start saying, oh, he's immoral, that's so wrong automatically, okay? That's what's called an ad hominem attack. I also would like you, um, if you, uh, I would like you to explain to me why that is wrong. Again, I, I'm assuming that is a social norm, but here's the thing. Don't say it's wrong just because somebody's uncomfortable with it. Again, as I said, that's, you know, that's just a, uh, that's, you know, that eventually is to appeal to tradition. But here's the thing. If they say that that's wrong or immoral or what have you, uh, you know, or if they say, that, you know, if you end up saying that that's wrong or immoral or what have you, just because um, other people believe it, that's what's called the ad populum fallacy. There has to be another reason, like, you know, it's wrong, people believe it's wrong because of this, or something like that. Also, again, so like I said, two more fallacies to try to avoid when you're trying to present me cases for logic, uh, logical cases for current morality. There is one other thing. Um, I've gotten quite a few comments on various of my videos where I've sat with bare-chested, um, and the thing is that people say, like, whoa, haven't you heard of such a thing called a shirt or something like that? Well, the thing is that I don't understand why people view uh, stuff like this as disgusting. Again, it's just the natural human body. But, I mean, unless I can understand, like, you know, it not being a good evolutionary standpoint, I mean, I can understand it being that. But, you know, that would be like, okay, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to have sex with that person. That doesn't necessarily mean, like, oh, I don't want to see that. Remember, nudist colonies work out very well, where people just walk around naked all the time. It doesn't matter how disgusting the person looks, because the, the idea of sexual mating is not active in that particular context. So where is that, you know, uh, you know it's, it's perfectly fine there. And here's the thing. Beyond the problem of actually getting cold, I mean, yes, we do have, you know, a very thin body hair. So outside, uh, you know, in colder climates, clothing would be essential to prevent oneself from getting hypothermia. That would be a functional use. But when you are indoors uh, in any place, clothing is unnecessary beyond the concept of, again, this, um, beyond this same concept of covering up the privates or, or something like that because they're afraid of other people viewing about this mating. So, you know, it's, it's a fear, like, you know, like, I mean, like, that's just even a knee-jerk reaction. Like, people, they're afraid, like, oh, somebody's automatically going to rape me or somebody's automatically going to think, like, you know, it's because of that sex on the brain. Now, the thing is, I'm not saying that sex is wrong. What I'm simply saying is that um, not everybody's thinking about sex. That's called the hasty generalization. Um, again, another critical thinking fallacy. Um, or, but you, or, uh, or, or it's always oh, uncomfortable. The thing is that as, if there is no real reason for, uh, for you know, for, uh, to cover the privates, you know, like if there's no real reason why uh, why we should, you know, again, like I've said, you know, unless you can present me with a logical argument for why we need to censor the privates or, you know, view sex as private or or, or even prevent or, or even not swear or talk uh, about about sex around children, um, like the stork myth or stuff like that, or or parents or, or not show porno to children. I mean, or like, you know, there's like worrying about robbing them of their innocence. I mean, unless we can act, unless they can actually say you know, provide a moral, sorry, not a moral, a logical argument for why this is absolutely, you know, how this will damage a child or, or, or any of these sort of things. Like, if you can provide me a logical argument, I'm not saying that it's wrong. I just simply want a logical argument for this sort of thing. Unless you can provide me a logical argument as to why it's wrong, there should be no use, there should be no need for clothing indoors and stuff like that. Matter of fact, I've actually, uh, I actually posted it, I actually posited this once to one of my philosophy teachers. I said, if I posited this. At the ending, they said they could support, they could see no reason for wearing clothing. So then I said, based on that, if I streak, will you still be? Um, if I streak, will you still uh, do anything about it? They said yes. They call campus security. You see what I mean? There was no logical argument, but they still had the knee-jerk reaction, and they intellectually knew that, but they still resorted to the knee-jerk reaction because oh, it's the law. Well, that's appeal to authority. If there's no real logical reason for a law. Uh, you know, it's just the collective of what people have agreed to for comfort. That's, you know, that's a law based on the ad populum fallacy. It's not committing, you know, and there's no real harm in being done to anybody. That At that point, that would just be government uh, infringing on the rights of people or the majority infringing on the rights of the minority. Like, you know, that would be, that would be a law that would effectively be um, harming people in and of themselves by preventing them from freedom of speech or, prevent, you know, or keeping them suppressed via critical thinking. Oh, sorry, uh, no, keeping them suppressed from critical thinking. Uh, to be correct, so I mean, you know, what do we know about uh, about uh, disorders where people uh, uh, get shy or what have you? I mean, um, here's another one about uh, manipulation, which I should have mentioned in the last video. 
Um, as you, there's, there are quite a few uh, advertisements out there which actually um, show the stranger coming up from behind or grabbing a woman from behind or something like that, you know, in, a, in, in, in somewhat of a violent but passionate way as being um, sexy. Uh, I think it must be coming from uh, our leftover evolutionary vestiges of, um, you know, when men were constantly trying to compete against other males for the right to a woman or what have you. But that's another kettle of fish. But the thing is, what's interesting is that if you actually take a look at that, and you also take a look at the advertisements of how men are, you know, unemotional, um, uh, you know, uh, gruff, sports-like, um, always being, you know, these sort of violent things, the stats that show in the U.S. are roughly about 60% uh, of all murders are committed by men, and 99.8% 99.8% uh, of reported rapes are all committed by men. Now, of course, mind you, there's still a lot which go unreported, uh, but the thing, of course, is, mind you, is that that's out of the reported uh, numbers of factors or, or people who have been convicted and gone through the prison system. So that does say quite a great deal. Hmm? Again, we are still dealing with a society where women are uh, viewed as inferior and other groups are still somewhat viewed as inferior. We still have a certain xenophobia going on. I mean, uh, look at, for example, the, what I've talked about for the past several videos about the, about the fear of religion, even if the religious idea might be okay for com you know to give comfort in some cases. But, you know, that whole idea of threat when it's actually just a misinterpretation of the ideology or the bits where I've pointed out about critical thinking flaws that could have been strengthened. I mean, we are dealing with this exact same sort of xenophobia and, you know, these are the leftovers from these times and we have no real logic for it. So, again, please post your comments down here like, uh, like uh, doing on the other morality video I did, the Hitchhiker's Blog Episode 3. Present me with the real reasons why to do so. And YouTube um, heads, I would ask you to do the same. Don't take my videos off for having done this or having posted my, uh, my, my, uh, my penis on the internet. Um, I did that to make a moral point, that I don't see a logical reason for this, so therefore I'm doing it because I don't see a real, uh, a real problem with this. You know, there is no logical reason to, uh, to, for the rule to be there. So I'm, and again, I'm making that perfectly clear. Now, if you could present me with a reason in addition to taking my video down, uh, again, if, if my video gets taken down, I would appreciate some um, format of, uh, of uh, not only of warning, but of explanation why this rule of censorship is in there. If you could present me with something like that, I would be very much appreciated. Again, this is an Aspie asking for uh, logic on why we should be doing with any of this. So, again, if you could present me with a reason for any of our current moral system, you know, any of the, of the social customs, uh, you know, for any of the social customs that are held by our society, except for, you know, uh, don't cheat, don't lie, don't steal, don't murder people, um, uh, don't, you know, don't uh, lie to your spouse about, uh, about, and then go behind their back. I mean, uh, but I mean, like, if you, can, if you can explain to me why monogamy is absolutely essential, or why, uh, you know, or why any of the other sexual stuff is disgusting, or, or, like, if you can give me an explanation for any of this moral stuff that doesn't resort to critical thinking fallacies, please, give me one. Because otherwise, I'm likely to view the entire shebang of morality as being, um, you know, as being illogical, wrong, because it's illogical, uh, you know, and because there's no basis for it. You see what I mean? We are homo sapiens sapiens. We are meant to think logically. And if we're going to uphold critical thinking, morality, which is one of the biggest, uh, effectively is the glue that is supposed to hold society and its societal relations together, should have critical thinking, especially should have critical thinking uh, uh, involved in its formation. So, again, don't view me as immoral. Just view me as an Aspie who's trying to seek to understand the current system and seek to understand why it exists. And if it doesn't, then, then in my view book, it would be wrong or, or, or in unsound, I believe, would be the correct term because uh, the, um, the logic is invalid. See? That's just my point. Anyway, like I said, Po, uh, do, please do post video responses or comments with your uh, reasoning for this sort of thing. Do try to think about it and... Um, or even get ethicists to come in and try to give me reasons. So this way I actually have something to uh, logically sink my teeth into. Thanks.